Come on, Twilight. You can do it. Okay, here goes. Ha <laughs> ha! You did it! Growing magic. That's number 25. 25 different types of tricks and counting. And I think this is the best trick so far. Hello, Rarity. What's that? Oh, it's nothing. Just my awesome mustache. <laughs> Sorry, Romeo. As attractive and enticing as you look, it's just for practice and it's gotta go. Wait! <sighs> oh, rats. <laughs> my little pony, my little pony. Ah, my little pony. I used to wonder what friendship could be. So you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? 25, Twilight. 25 different kinds of tricks and counting. I thought unicorns were only supposed to have a little magic that matches their special talents. True, for ponies whose talents are for things like cooking or singing or math. But what if a unicorn's special talent is magic? Like you, Twilight, and you know a ton of magic. Oh, Spike, stop. I'm sure there are lots of ponies right here in Ponyville that know just as much magic as me. Are you kidding? I don't think there's another unicorn in all of Equestria with your kind of ability, Twilight. Gateway! Coming through! Snails! What's going on? Well, haven't you heard? Oh. There is a new unicorn in town! Yeah! They say that she's got more magical powers than any other unicorn ever! Really? Oh, no way! That honor goes to Twilight here. Where is this unicorn? Oh, she's in a town square! Come on! Yeah! Come on! <laughs> Come on. No ponies as magical as Twy. 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 Oh. <clears throat> hey, Rarity. I, uh. Mustache! There's nothing wrong with being talented, is there? Nothing at all. Sitting when someone goes around showing it off like a school filly with fancy new ribbons. Just because one has the ability to perform lots of magic does not make one better than the rest of us. Especially when you got me around being better than the rest of us. <laughs> uh, I mean. Yeah, uh, magic magic. Boo! Well, well, well. It seems we have some naysayers in the audience. Who is so ignorant as to challenge the magical ability of the great and powerful Trixie? Do they not know that they're in the presence of the most magical unicorn in all of Equestria? Just who does she think she is? Yeah, since we all know that Twilight here is... Spike, shh. What? What's wrong? You see the way they reacted to Trixie? I don't want anyone thinking I'm a show-off. So great and powerful, Trixie. What makes you think you're so awesome anyway? <laughs> Why, only the great and powerful Trixie has magic strong enough to vanquish the dreaded Ursa Major! <laughs> was lost. The ponies of Puffington had no one to turn to, but the great and powerful Trixie stepped in and with her awesome magic vanquished the Ursa Major and sent it back to its cave deep within the ever-free forest. Oh, so sweet. sweet! That settles it. Trixie truly is the most talented, most magical, most awesome unicorn in Ponyville. No, in all of Equestria. How do you know? You didn't see it. And besides, Twilight. 
<laughs> it's true, my enthusiastic little admirers. Trixie is most certainly the best in Ponyville. Don't believe the great and powerful Trixie? <laughs> well then, I hereby challenge you, Ponyvillians. Anything you can do, I can do better. Any takers? Anyone? <laughs> or is Trixie destined to be the greatest equine who has ever lived? <laughs> Please! She's unbearable! You gotta show her! You just gotta! <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna use my magic now, Spike. Especially since... Hmm... How about... You! <laughs> well, how about it, hmm? Is there anything you can do that the great and powerful Trixie can't? I... I... Well, little hayseed... That's it! I can't stand for no more of this. You show her, AJ. Can your magical powers do this? Top that, Missy. Oh, ye of little talent. Watch and be amazed at the magic of Trixie. Trixie prevails. There's no need to go strutting around and showing off like that. Oh, that's my job. The only thing they'll call you is loser. I think I'm gonna be sick. Seems like any pony with a dash of good sense would think twice before tussling with the great Trixie. <laughs> What we need is another unicorn to challenge her. Someone with some magic of her own. Yeah, a unicorn to show this unicorn who's boss. A real unicorn to unicorn tussle. Uh, enough, enough all of you. I take your hint, but Rarity is above such nonsense. Rainbow Dash and Applejack may behave like ruffians, but Rarity conducts herself with beauty and grace. Ooh, what's the matter? Afraid you'll get a hair out of place in that rat's nest you call a mane? Oh, it is on. You may think you're tough with all of your so-called powers, but there is more to magic than your brutish ways. A unicorn needs to be more than just muscle. A unicorn needs to have style. A unicorn's not a unicorn without grace and beauty. Rarity won't let Trixie get the best of her. She's strong, she's beautiful, she's... <laughs> It's fine. It's gorgeous. It's green. What? <gasps> no! Green hair! Not green hair! <gasps> Such an awful, awful color! <sighs> well, I never. Well, Twilight, I guess it's up to you. Come on, show her what you're made of. What do you mean? I'm nothing special. Yes, you are. You're better than her. I'm not better than anyone. <laughs> you think you're better than the great and powerful Trixie? You think you have more magical talent? Well, come on. Show Trixie what you've got. Show us all. Who, me? I'm just your run-of-the-mill citizen of Ponyville. No powerful magic here. I, uh, I think I hear my laundry calling. Sorry, gotta go. Twilight? 
<laughs> Once again, the great and powerful Trixie has proven herself to be the most amazing unicorn in all of Equestria. <sighs> Was there ever any doubt? <laughs> This old smoothie lasts for with extra hay, just how you like it. Yes. Oh, tell us another story, great and powerful Trixie. Yeah, tell us about how you vanquished the Ursa Major. Uh, Trixie is far too exhausted from performing feats beyond imagination. Be gone with you until morning. Oh, of course, great and powerful, Trixie. Anything you say, we are at your beck and call. <sighs> what are you two doing? Just bringing the G and PT. Uh, the what? The great and powerful Trixie. Sheesh. Just bringing her a smoothie. How can you fall for her lameness? She's just a show off. Unlike Twilight, who... The great and powerful Trixie vanquished an Ursa Major. Can your Twilight claim that? Oh, really? Were you guys actually there? Well, uh, uh, no, but... But nothing. The proof is in the pudding. <laughs> I like pudding. Look, unless an Ursa Major comes waltzing up the street for Trixie to vanquish, I am not gonna believe a word she says. And neither should you. An Ursa walking up the street, hey? Snails, you thinking what I'm thinking? Why is it they call it a flea market when they don't really sell fleas? Yeah! Uh, uh, oh, come on! Twilight, won't you put down that book and just listen to me? Didn't you see how they hated Trixie's bragging spike? If I go out there and show off my magic, I run the risk of losing them as friends. It's not the same thing, Twilight. You'd be using your magic to stand up for your friends. No, Spike, it's exactly the same. Come on, Twilight. Any one of these tricks, even the teeniest, would be enough to show up Trixie. I don't want to be seen as a bragger like Trixie. <laughs> but you're the best! Ugh, please, Spike, I said no. <sighs> If that's the way you want to be, then fine. Oh, how are we going to find an ocean major when I can't even see my own hoof in front of my face? Hold on. <laughs> Hey guys, where are you going? Get up now! Got a major problem! Yeah, Ursa made you to be exact! Trixie did not want to be disturbed. Uh, <laughs> we we have a, a tiny problem. Actually, it's a big one. What is so important that you cannot wait until morning to disturb Trixie? I've already told you, Spike, I don't want to show up Trixie. No, you don't understand, it's... Uh, is that what I think it is? Majorly. Great and powerful Trixie, you've got to vanquish the Ursa. Yeah, vanquish so we can watch. It took a lot of trouble to get that thing here. Wait, you brought this here? <gasps> Are you out of your little pony minds? But you're the great and powerful Trixie. Now remember, you defeated an Ursa Major. Uh, okay. Stand back. Piece of cake. Oh, come on, Trixie! Stop going! 
goofing around and vanquish it, eh? <laughs> Well, that was a dud. Yeah, come on. Where's all the cool explosions and smoke and stuff like earlier, you know? Uh oh. Vanquish it. I can't. What? Well, I can't. I never have. No one can vanquish an Ursa Major. I just made the whole story up to make me look better. Made it up. up. Of number sixteen. Golly, don't you know? That's new. We knew you had ability, but not that much. I'm sorry. Please, please don't hate me. Hate you? Why, whatever do you mean, darling? Well, I know how much you all hated Trixie's showing off with her magic tricks, and I just thought... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Magic's got nothing to do with it. Trixie's just a loudmouth. Most unpleasant. All hat and no cattle. So, you don't mind my magic tricks? Your magic is a part of who you are, Sugar Cube, and we like who you are. We're proud to have such a powerful, talented unicorn as our friend. And after whooping that Ursa's hindquarters, we're even prouder. You are? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. mm hmm Wow, Twilight! How'd you know what to do with that Ursa Major? That's what I was doing when you came looking for me. I was so intrigued by Trixie's bragging that I was compelled to do a little reading up on them. So it is possible to vanquish an Ursa Major all by herself? That wasn't an Ursa Major. It was a baby, an Ursa Minor. That was just a baby? And it wasn't rampaging. It was just cranky because someone woke it up. Oh. Well, if that was an Ursa Minor, then what's an Ursa Major like? <laughs> You don't want to know. <laughs> you may have vanquished an Ursa Minor, but you will never have the amazing, show-stopping ability of the great and powerful Trixie! <laughs> Why that little... Just let her go. Maybe someday she'll learn her lesson. Now, about you two. Uh, <laughs> well, we're sorry that we woke up the Ursa Minor. We just wanted to see some awesome magic. Yeah, and the way you vanquished that Ursa Minor was awesome! We deserve whatever punishment you give us. 
For starters, you can clean up this mess. And what do you think, Spike? Should I give them number 25? Oh, 25, yes. And I think I deserve it, too. Huh? I think you're right. Sweet! Dear Princess Celestia, I have learned a very valuable lesson about friendship. I was so afraid of being thought of as a show-off that I was hiding a part of who I am. My friends helped me realize that it's okay to be proud of your talents, and there are times when it's appropriate to show them off, especially when you're standing up for your friends. So, you finally admit that you're the most talented unicorn in all of Ponyville? Well, yeah, but it's nothing to brag about. So, uh, how did it go with Rarity? Uh, she didn't go for the mustache. You know, Spike, that mustache has nothing to do with who you really are. Maybe you should just try being yourself. Or maybe the mustache wasn't enough. Maybe if I had a mustache and a beard. Oh, not this again. Okay, imagine me with a nice long Fu Manchu type beard. Or maybe a goatee. Oh, no, a soul patch. Right?